It uh, required a little bit of emotional preparation. Oops, there she goes flying. But this sad news is it's it's tough. It's gonna be tough for me. It's gonna be tough um, for I suppose everybody. Mobile High Squad. The sad news is. Today is my last full day with Ligaya, but it's only for a day. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, early in the morning, RJ and I have to fly out to Cebu, another island here in the Philippines, uh, for a Google event for YouTube, um, where I'm on a panel doing a talk and all of that. And then the next night, we fly back to Manila. I should be here back in the afternoon. So actually, it's gonna be about maybe 30 hours of her not being around me. <laughs> it's gonna be the first time she's ever not been around me this long, if that makes sense. Um, but I think she can do it. I know she can. And um, Ate Elsie, also Jane and Judith, RJ's sisters, will be spending time with her she'll, so she will never be alone. But the guy, I'm gonna have to fly. I'm gonna fly somewhere for a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna have to make your own fun. You have to play with Ate Elsie and Jane and Judith. Oh, that was a kiss with tongue. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right. Ate Elsie also brought Malungai. <gasps> Look, guys, you have fresh moringa. You're so lucky. Yes. Uh huh. You're so lucky. And you know what? Ate Elsie is gonna give you a little bit of gruel. Mm hmm. You excited about that? Yes, look. See, she knows, she sees. Yes, the guy, see? Not me. It's Ate Elsie who's hooking you up. Uh, she got the good stuff. Mm hmm. Yes. See, she's. She's protesting. She's like, no, I don't want Ate Elsie to feed me that. Yes, it's good. It's good. Eat, eat, eat. Go, 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 go. Come on, Loli, go. Eat, eat, eat. Good girl. Yeah, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Eat. She's also very close to being weaned, so she's not as desperate for this. The syringe feedings anymore. Eat, eat, eat. Fine. You want me to do it? Here. Go, go, go. Go. I. It's the same syringe. It's just a different feeder. The exact same. Come on, Ligaya. Okay. So Ligaya flew away. Ligaya? <laughs> She's not hungry right now. Totally normal. I'm not worried. When she's hungry, she will accept the gruel from Ate Elsie. Um, I just fed her this morning. She had lots of vegetables, lots of gruel. The hey guys, you be nice to Ate Elsie, okay? She loves you too. Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Hmm? Yes, I'll take that as a yes. Every time I say you wanna go outside, she shakes and like fluffs her feathers because it reminds her of this leash and it tickles when I put it on. Wanna go outside? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Itchy. Okay. Wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Yes. Ow. <laughs> 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 the Elsie even knows. The Ow. Cardi B. You guys, let's go. Morning walk, as usual, mm -hmm. perhaps I am overreacting and everything will be fine. I guess my main fear is that Ligaya will get really depressed, like psychologically depressed and she'll start feather plucking, which is something depressed birds do, but I don't think that's gonna happen, really. Remember, I made a promise not to be that worried parent, you know what I'm saying, that paranoid parent? That's not gonna be me. We could do this. Legaya, you're a big bird now. You can manage one day without me. One day and night without me. Mm -hmm. I know she can. Right, guys? <laughs> I've tried to do my best to 
have Ate Elsie really just interact with Ligaya and you know there are times when Ligaya is really warm to Ate Elsie Ligaya pretty much grew up with her so you know what I mean now for those of you who want to get an African Grey like Ligaya over here this is something you need to uh, realize is that these birds can be one person birds you know what I mean? Or any parrots really can be one gender bird. I find Ligaya tends to prefer males over females. But having said that, if you saw the vlog um, a couple days ago, you'll see how much Ligaya loved Mark's mom. Like totally just stepped up to her, crawled on her shoulder, listened to her sweet voice. It really just depends, I guess, on your aura and whether the bird chooses you to be worthy of like trust. You know what I mean? I do admit that yesterday I had a little bit of anxiety and perhaps some wet eyes thinking about how sad Legaya might be with me not being around for so long. I mean, then I realized, you know, if if this relationship is going to work, this bird, she does need to be able to spend some time without me, you know, and make her own fun and love with the rest of the flock. Like I'm sure in the wild, when these birds bond with their partner, they happen to live in flocks of hundreds of birds. So for sure, there are times when the birds get lost, you know, they get separated and they're trying to find each other. I'm sure there are times when separation happens, you know what I mean? So I think it's okay. The real challenge will be when we have to leave for Seattle. That's next month. Still have a few weeks to work up to that period of separation. That will be five days. OMG! Inconceivable to me right now. Five days. It's also long because we have a stopover in Korea which is like 13 hours. So the travel will also be long. Um, which is alright too. I do miss traveling and I'm sure a lot of you guys miss our travel vlogs so yeah lots of that is coming up. Lots of traveling, lots of food. Mm -hmm. How about you parents out there? You first time parents like all of you who have kids or have had kids, did you ever have separation anxiety from your young one? With your firstborn in particular? I'm saying firstborn because I assume that like every time you have kids afterwards you're more and more experienced so you're not as like paranoid as me. What was it like? Oh and if you have parrots too and the first time you were separated from your parrot, what was it like? Hey Ligaya, yes, we have a tree. Step up. Good girl, yes. All right, you just hang out there. Ooh. And she pooed. Good girl. Up in her guava tree. Mm -hmm. She looks great up in that tree. Eventually, I would love for Ate Elsie and Legaya to get to that stage where they can go for walks. By the way, don't worry. This tree is safe. It's native guava. See that? Love guava. Love that guava grows here. Very hard wooded plant. The perch we used to use from the farm. That big one that used to be on top of her old cage, that was guava. Same species. All right, I'm gonna sit right here with my coffee. Bird in the tree. I love that I could just park the bird on in a tree. Gotta watch out for them falcons though. I don't think I've ever seen a falcon or a hawk here, but it doesn't mean they can't come here. I mean, peregrine falcons are in most cities around the world or falcons in general and hawks. Here in the Philippines, we have an endemic bird of prey uh, known as the Philippine eagle. Mm -hmm. And guys, this eagle is massive. It eats monkeys and it's got this huge like hair, like crest, it's beautiful, gorgeous bird. It's our national bird. <laughs> Hi sir, good morning. How cute, a schnauzer, love. I love this bird, so beautiful. Look at her just chilling there chilling out cleaning herself i do find she looks great up there and if you guys recall to when i first got her my initial plans was to have her free flighted like flying outside on her own coming back to me dragon come back to me um but then i changed my mind when my vet discouraged it and told me about how he lost his african gray and how african grays tend to be like one of the most popular birds to lose through free flying maybe because of 
their wiring or their intelligence who knows but you know I I'm not gonna rule it out just yet uh, the reason I say this is because there are graphic and gray parrots out there who are free flighted outside um, I know a friend here who free flies his African gray here in Manila who's always encouraging me to keep trying and not give up um, and Majestic Wings and all these groups are contacting me here in the Philippines saying you can still free fly her We believe in her um, we can help you train her etc So they've been really encouraging and then also a very popular bird channel called um, Bird tricks they have a free flighted African Grey, so um, I'm not gonna rule it out just yet Ligaya still has a long way to go in terms of learning to fly. Yes, she can fly But is she proficient in flying? I would say no and these are just skills that she'll develop like as she grows up mo over the months over the years So who knows? I think just like a parent and child there will be this moment of like complete trust and peace and Like peace of mind where I'll be like, you know what Ligaya? I trust you. I, I know you will come back here No more harness for you. I feel like we'll get to that point. Um, and by the way before that I found a company with like GPS systems that attach to the bird either like around the neck, on the tail, on the claw um, and I want to order one of those so I can at least track her you know what I mean because a lot of these free flighted parrots fly out of sight like they fly far and you can't even see them like a drone you know what I mean so I, I, I also want to get that guys I'm liking the look of this guava tree isn't it beautiful? I love the look of the bark. It kind of reminds me of eucalyptus, uh, but it seems like guava is a lot more branchy. You know what I mean? It, it has a nice branching uh, structure. And I'm currently trying to decide whether we want to plant a guava tree or a malungai tree in the center of our aviary in our future home. <laughs> uh, if you're new to the channel, we're in the process now of building our dream Mabuhai Squad home. And in the middle of the house, there will be a three-story aviary. And we're going to be planting a tree in that aviary uh, for Ligaya, for the bird. Or birds, uh, if we get more birds, um, like finches maybe, I don't know. And it needs to be a parrot-safe tree. So the two that I thought were the best were guava and malungai, both trees which Ligaya already enjoys. Um, I was leaning more towards malungai, or moringa as they call it in English. Uh, because she can have a lot of that and I don't have to worry it's, it's supposed to be really really healthy and have a lot of medicinal properties also for humans um, guava as well but I feel like too much guava might not be good you know what I mean I have to do more research in terms of like lighting requirements and all of that what do you guys think let me know in the comments I'll leave a poll right here mm -hmm. should I plant moringa tree or a guava tree in our future aviary our dragon Layer. Look at the beautiful property guys. They fenced it off. This used to be so like wildly grown like tons of weeds and all of that But it looks like they're gonna be developing this soon. I'm curious to see what they built here and I am hoping like in an ideal world They will not cut these old growth trees <gasps> But we'll see we'll see Mabuhai squad. All right, let's go Legaya. The flock is proceeding by the way guys, if you're new to the channel and you think I'm weird and this whole channel is weird My name is Mikey Bustos. This is Legaya. We live in the Philippines I'm originally from Toronto, Canada and feel free to join us every day We can be your picker-upper of positivity and good vibes every single day we upload mm -hmm. um, And we love discovering new things on this channel. We love nature we love being inspired, adventure, food, and all that good stuff. Please hit that subscribe button and bell icon if you feel it's right. Join the family. We're called the Mabuhai Squad. We have fun every day out of the bubble. We think and live out of the bubble. Too much negative vibes going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? And life is just full of things to be happy about and be thankful for. Gaia, I wish I could take you with us, but with the current laws, apparently you can only ride in the luggage. I'm not letting my bird ride in the luggage. Are you kidding me? Crazy. No way. 
Is there like such thing as first class luggage? <laughs> I just like am paranoid about like the climate not being right and then like by the time we land she comes out as like a frozen parrot. No, 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 no. And I, I'm afraid it's noisy down there and she goes through like a half hour, 45 minute flight terrified. No thanks. I don't want to traumatize bird. I do hope in the future that traveling with pets becomes easier. Now another thing I'm setting up is this awesome camera. It's called Clever Dog. It'll keep an eye on Ligaya uh, and I can actually talk through here anytime and in real time and the app allows me to see it on my mobile. You see? It's really a great invention. Love it so much. So I can see Ligaya anytime I want while I'm away. Isn't technology great, guys? Seriously. I mean, <laughs> Inception. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and if at any time at the LC or Jane and Judith have any questions, she can just ask me through the camera and I can hear it out of my cell phone. It's really, really great. Mm -hmm. Legaya. Ew. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Ew. 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 Ha ha ha. Ha, laugh. Ew. <laughs> I think she knows how to copy laughs, laughter as well. Ligaya, say your name. Ligaya. Oh, did she just say her name? Jaya's here editing. You're proof, right? She said her name. She said the O as well. Ligaya. Ligaya. Ate Elsie, she said her name. Huh? Ligaya. Okay, Ligaya. Now you're probably hungry for some gruel. Ate Elsie will give you some gruel. Yes. Eat. Come on. Eat. Come on, guys. <laughs> Wanna eat? Eat, eat, eat. She will come if she's hungry. Yes, no, not hungry. She had gulai. She had vegetables earlier here. Let's see if oh, I How about me? No? See? No. Yeah, she's she's not. Wow, yay! Guys, I think she's like pretty close to weaned. Let's check her bowl. Let's see how much she ate from her she's bowl. Oh! She's been busy. I do, like there's a lot left here, but I do see she's been into the calamansi. She's been chewing. Oh! The sweet potato. Good girl, Ligaya. Stepping up. Good girl. Yes. Awesome. You'll be fine without the LC tomorrow, I know. She's been also like eating the peppers. You see? Good, good, good. Sleepy? I know you're so sleepy. Yeah. Look at those beautiful wings. Ooh. I'm gonna miss you. Today, Mobo High Squad, I did feel like she had a feeling something was up because she continued to try to like fly on me, snuggle with me, like, you know what I mean? I mean, she's always like that, but. And she does this cooing like a I hear it. It's like a soft, like bassy, soft cooing. Are you trying to tell me that you'll be okay? Hmm? You be good to at the Elsie, okay? I will be back. We will be back. I, the Mobile Squad, will be back. I will follow you on my cell phone. Mm-hmm. I will be watching you all the time. Even though I'm not here, you let Ate Elsie give you some head and neck scratches, okay? Don't be yelling at her and don't run away. 
Kiss. Kiss. Hey. Come on, come on, kiss me. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. You sleeping? She wants to go back to her cage. Wanna go back to your cage? Wanna sleep in your cage? You actually like your cage now? Hmm? Let me kiss. She's just like, I wanna go sleep. Okay, let's go sleep now. Go. Step up. Good girl. Let me give you some scratches. <laughs> oh, my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. Cause the dawn is breaking, it's early morn The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn Already I'm so lonesome, I could die Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go Good night, the guys. I'll see you in the morning before we leave. Mm -hmm. Sleep well. OMG. Guys. It's 3.46 a.m. Gotta get up to catch the first flight out. Early morning flight, a feeling I know all too well, but one I am sad to make this morning. Bye the guys, see you in, I don't know, I guess see you tomorrow afternoon.